Christians. Don't misunderstand me. They are born again, but they are not Christos. Amen. Amen. But your pastor is a good man. Yes, sir. It's been a great, great blessing to me and my house and his lovely wife. Let me celebrate them again. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for the honor. Hallelujah to Jesus. So, when I heard him speak today, I realized, okay, um, I think the Holy Ghost wanted me to go in the land that was in my heart to talk. Amen. It's a very simple truth that sometimes we miss, but you miss your peril. So look at Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 23. Jeremiah 10, 23. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jeremiah 10, 23. Is that Jeremiah 10, 23? Uh, thank you. Look at it. It says, Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Do you have the message? Do we have the message? Can you project? Can you project the message? The message translation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Kola brakata susu baladabos. The message. Kele brakora bakato si kalaba. Kola brala 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 bakato si la barbara katos. Lara poro kosi kele mada bargada bokosi kaba. Mala proto susu brele bakarande bokosaliba. Mina karuzu breketu la bargale bokosala bantele brala baba yaba. Malaproto Bokotokos. Are we expecting it? Message translation. Malaprokoto Bokosi Kalabaraba di Bakatelaba. Malaproto Zokosu Ketelebra. Maribakaradi di Bakaru Sabalaba. Manatosu Zbredi Margata Barbaka Takuza Labadia. O Zizu Prakana Putu Zupreti Kalabarbara diata. Malatosu Bokoto Zikaporo di Barbakatila. Margada Bakatulaba. Hey! Robasha Katalabaya. Barozu Zubaradiba. La raporo to boko susu breli barbara da bakatu la babandi ba. Jol brokono to susu breli barra bakatu la barbara bakatu la ba. Should I expect it? Is there okay? Okay. Can we everybody? Can we read together? One, two, three, go. I know God that men mortals can't run their own life. That men and women don't have what it takes to take charge of life. The way of a man who walks is not in him. It's not in a man that walks to direct his path. So, and that's where he started. There are no independent thoughts. Every thought has a source. There are new neutral ground in your thoughts. So like we're told today, if they are not right thoughts, they are not God. And if they are not God, they are not you. I don't even understand. Because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And your thoughts are right. So, so that, don't say, no, I, I think I was the one thinking it. No, you are not. There are no independent thoughts. Every man thinking is influenced from one or other source. Not more than two. Is God influencing you? Or demon and satanic forces influencing your thoughts? Same way, there are no independent thoughts. There are no independent action. Because your action proceeds from your thoughts. As you think, that's what you become. A man moves in the direction of his most predominant thoughts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you think it hard, you will move there. So, what we're saying here, what the scripture is saying here, so, sometimes you put your hand in your pocket, you say, I, I know where I'm going. You don't know. You're under an influence. Is that right or wrong? The way of a man who walks is not in himself. It's not in the man that walks to direct his path. So when you see a man moving and you see that happen, and that, that's where I'm going, that the Spirit of the Lord will want to bring us in this service today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So look at the story of Samson in Judges chapter 14. Judges 14, if you read from verse 1, Samson woke up one day and said he wants to marry a Philistine. 
in Timnath, one of the daughters of the Philistines she wants to marry. Ah, the parents say, what is, what's your problem? Are there, not, are, there not, are there not women in all of Israel that you're leaving this border to go and look for an uncircumcised to marry? Ah, the guy says, if I don't marry, I will die. I will die. The way the guy was set on his ways, they, leave, they left him. Thank you. And he came and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in Timnat of the daughters of the Philistines. Now, therefore, get her for me to a wife. Continue. Look at this. Since we're here. Verse 2. Then his father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughters of thy brethren or among thy, my people that thou goest to take a wife of the uncircumcised Philistines? And Samson said unto his father, Get her for me, for she pleased me well. This guy thinks he's in control. Look at the next verse. But his father and his mother knew not that it was of the Lord that he sought an occasion against the Philistines. For at that time, the Philistines had dominion over Israel. That means this thought is not him. It's not him thinking. But he said, I want it. It not be you. God was involved. I'm, I'm sure he says, I know what I'm doing. I, you don't know. You don't know. Was God going to break the law? If you follow, you know that since it's God, you see the way it worked. He never married the girl. He didn't marry the girl. At the end of this chapter, they took the wife and gave somebody else. But they provoked him. That provocation is what God was leading to. But when he was walking, he thought, I'm the one. You're not your one. You're not. You say, I know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. In, in Isaiah 36, 37. A king came up. His name is Sennacherib. Sent, and then they began to vow themselves. He says, "Listen, listen, Israel, don't let your king deceive you that you can fight. You cannot fight. You cannot fight. Don't let, don't let your king. I know you'll be speaking all those spiritual language. One of the spiritual language tell you, you pray. This is number one. Why will you pray when your altars are broken? How can you call upon God? Those are satanic voices, by the way." Every time God, Satan wants to bring you down, maybe you're in a crossroad, he will start telling you, you, you think God is fire brigade? You just come and start praying now? Even some preachers have told you, the Bible says, call upon me in the days of trouble. I will answer you. Are you following? But he will tell you, ah, you think God, God is fire brigade? He's full of mercy. Hey, I like what that lady said. God's faithfulness overrides your faith. Do you know what, what I mean? When you see God's faithfulness, his will is done in your life. He shows mercy to a thousand generations. But Satan will tell you, you have not been praying, you want to start praying. This is, this is a place to start. Maybe that problem is where to start. But he says, how, how can you pray when your altars are broken? Then he says, okay, okay, okay. Let's assume you even want to pray. Yeah, okay, you want to pray. To which God? Which God has delivered their nation from my hand? Then he began to list it. Egypt, all of them listed them. These people had mighty God. They couldn't deliver from his hand. You know what he's saying to you? I don't know whether you've been there. Maybe you're trying to fly shortly after that plane crash and you're quoting Psalm 91. Satan tells you, 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 that woman of God that died, Psalm 91 in her mouth and your mouth, which is stronger that you think you can go now. When people bigger than you died, who are you? Or you are here, for instance, you don't even pray as much as some Jinjin brother. As they are praying, they are not able to hold 10,000. Then you want a million. As you want to pray, you pray. You, you. Where is your prayer gauge? See, see brother Shimda, brother Sham, Shimsha, who prays down mountain and has not held 10,000. You are here trying to hold, hold 1 million. How many of you have been there? You want to believe God for healing. He shows you one, one apostle that died of sickness. It's the voice of the enemy. He says, show me, show me any of them. When he finished talking, guess what the Bible says? They, they, took, they, took, the, they took the whole complaint. They gave to Isaiah. Isaiah went into the tabernacle of God and went prostrate. Glory to God. As Isaiah was praying, God answered and said in verse 21 he said waras you 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 prayed to me 
about the natural. Number one, he will not shoot one arrow in this town. I don't understand. He, he will not shoot one arrow here. Number two, the way he came, I will return him there. Number three, I'll put my hook on his nose trees and I will turn him back. Number four, I will send my blast upon him. I will cause him to hear a rumor and he shall return back. So, sorry ma'am. So, guess what? The man was here. Ah, ah, but God have defined his life. Then one day now, he now heard a rumor that Egypt have gone to fetch armies against him. He now turned and told them, I'm coming. Let me go and come. So in his mind, he's in control of his life. In his mind, he has decided to go and come. But behind the scene, there's a hook on his nose. By like a rain, he's turned. And then he turns back. And begins to go back to his city. Guess what? He comes to Nineveh. And in the house of his God in Nineveh. Decided to lie down and sleep. The place where he lie down to sleep. His two sons were in the temple waiting. Oh this God. I, I don't know if you understand. This man who think he's too in charge. Great king of a great nation. He is the king of the superpower of his known civilization. Thought he knew what he was doing. But he was not in control. They made him sleep in the house of his God. As he slept, his two sons came and stabbed him and killed him. When they killed him, they ran. They didn't kill him to take over the throne. I don't even understand. What do you think happened to the boys? The person with the remote control has controlled the two sons, controlled the father to lie down where they should meet him and they killed him. But in his mind as he was going, he thought he was in control. But the way of a man is not in himself. Their message translation says, the, the, the main mortals don't have what it takes to take charge of their life. They don't. Unfortunately, unbelievers know this quicker than us. So election is coming. They know they can't take control. They are going to where to take control. They know that in themselves, they can't take control. So they are looking for sources to help them take control. Are you listening to me? Yes, so, first I'll, I'll, I'll talk about us, then I'll tell you something that really brought me here. You see what Pastor was saying today? The reason why we dig our heels in God's word in meditation the reason why we pray the way we pray. The reason why I don't listen to secular music. Because every music has a spirit. And the spirit you expose yourself will af affect you. It's because since I know that this life is not independent of an influence. I create the right atmosphere to be influenced by the right sources. I don't understand. Otherwise, I can do very stupid things. When I got married to my wife, I told her as we were getting married, any day I become unreasonable, turn aside, turn to one end, and point and say, you devil in this man trying to harass my life. Stop in your oppression. What I mean is because at every point in a man's life, depending on what you have exposed yourself to, you are brought under an influence. Negative or positive. I don't know if you understand. Yes, so you hear that the pastor did a very stupid thing. You are wondering why. There's nothing wrong. He's born again. He's even filled with the Holy Ghost. But a little, a little. You know, I had, a, I had a young man. I mean, sir, he went out with his wife eight years before they got married. Both of them married as virgins. As to tell you how pure they were. Then they got married. And then as married people, they like to dance a lot. They liked men and they could dance then. Now they are getting older. So they decided to take their dance to another level. So they said, okay, once they were, they should just go to club and dance. You know, in club, there are demons flying everywhere. Immoral demons, unclean demons, foul and unclean spirits. 
if you've ever been there. I grew up in club, so I know what I'm telling you. It's not nobody can even argue with me. You see demons standing, looking at you. If your eyes are open in clubs, you see them. The tabernacle there. You can't go there enough, long enough, and what I'm saying will not happen to you. You even begin to question the Bible. Are you sure drinking is even what? Are you sure? Are you sure? There already two demons are on your shoulder. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. They just one is blowing his hair. Are you sure? Are you sure? What I turn to wine? Is it not? They are blowing it. After some time, you cross over to the other end. So that's how they used to go and dance. Weekends. And the wife, my wife's colleague, they go and dance, dance, dance. They, all, they were all in banks then. So, as a god, they did not met another girl who was also very good. She likes dance. So, you know, if you go to club, towards the early hours of the morning, people are tired. The dance floor is almost empty. But those who are called, <laughs> you still see one or two persons they will maintain. So, these three people, since that's what they came to do, you know, they are, they are there. So, they now form friends, friendship. They were now friends. Fam she was now their family friend. And she was too close very close and this lady trusted the husband so well that some friday when they closed from work friday she's so tired she begged the girl to just go with the husband that's where it started harmless no no issue nobody was thinking anything <laughs> until one day he now told her that she would help her get a job influence his boss the guy's boss to employ this girl as their as her secretary and over time the boss agreed so she was employed as secretary so when they employed her she went home to prepare she's from Edo state when she came back Matelu Guzaba sir she was going out with this guy going out with the boss both of them knew they didn't mind I don't think that's it. If he stopped there, that's the only thing. Their pockets were open like a pipe were fixed from their pockets to the girl. I mean, this guy would do like, he did a couple of businesses. The wife helped him into some other, like some furnishings in CB and then they were the ones who did it. They would just pay him 20 million. He would divide into two and send they get 10 million. Are you following? Five million, that was normal. As he's giving, that's the way the boss is giving this girl. Then the other part is that an obsession. 12 midnight, 2 a.m., he wake up and tell the wife, I need to see her. He started, but I need to see her until he had to blunt her, I need to sleep with the girl. You think it's normal? Pure madness. But where did he start? You know, this history is not, it's not original, like he told us. This, does not, this is not consistent with this boy. It's not consistent. So I remember when the wife came and spoke to me. And then we took her a long time praying, just fasting and praying. One of those guys were praying in the house. I just, the Spirit of God told me. So I called the wife. That is your husband there? I said, Yes. I want to come and pray for him. <laughs> when I even say I want to pray, I said, ah, I don't have any problem now. I said, You don't have to have a problem for me. Anyway, the husband didn't know we were praying. So I came there, laid hands on him. The power of God came upon him. When he fell down, he was sweating. He lay down sweat you know this i mean you are just dry then you're suddenly sweating then i left him when he came back see an equivalent of the same hatred the opposite way was what returned a hatred for this girl that's how he was delivered that's how he began to fight to recover some of his money when he began to harass the girl to give her the last money she gave he gave the guy two weeks ago the girl thought he was having because he thought he was still holding the guy where he helped the guy. As he was joking, the guy went and brought SARS. They used to harass the guy. The guy quickly called the boss. The boss was in London. The boss called this boy and said, what's the problem? Just give me an account and return the money to him. It means that these people were puppets under a puppet master. They were being remoted, controlled. But this is where I'm coming. Whatever brought this young man to this place? What brought him there? It's fine. That's what Pastor was saying. It's finding yourself in company that you have no business finding yourself. Say, do not be deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. 
Evil come, it will corrupt good men. He said, uh, you say, no, I know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. Evil communication corrupts good manner. Once you begin to expose your mind to those negative thoughts, guess what? You're going to expose yourself to a control that you don't even know where it's coming from. I've seen Christians under addiction. They'll come to you, pastor, help me. I don't know why I'm doing this. I know. Truly don't know why they're doing it. They don't want to do it. But the life of a man is not in himself. It's not in the man that walks to direct his path. I don't want you to leave here and say, I know where I'm going to. You don't know where you're going. You don't. You don't. That's why we expose ourselves continually. That's why you don't miss midweek service. Are you, faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. And hearing. Faith does not come by having heard. Faith comes by hearing and hearing. Yeah. When I get symptoms of uh, sickness in my body, I don't, begin to, I, I don't begin to think of the script. I open the Bible afresh or I learn that from Keneko plan. The memory of rice does not satisfy you. You know you're hungry. Then you begin to think of rice. The rice you ate three weeks ago. Just be thinking of it. Is that what satisfies you? You have to open a new fresh plate. You have to dig into it. You have to eat it to be nourished. It's the same thing with God's word. Don't say I know the scriptures. I can quote it more than pastor. You need. He said the Bible says it has pleased God that to the foolishness of preaching men will be saved. Through the foolishness of preaching. May be safe. It's not in a man that walks to direct his path. Yeah, but if you now learn this where I'm going, your life will be good. So since I know that everybody I have to deal with is under an influence, my job is to rightly create the influence to affect people who have to do with me. That's why I'm coming. If you have lost contract with somebody whom you're supposed to get contract with, you didn't you didn't create the kind of influence. That makes them lose control to your advantage. Are you listening to me? Yeah. It's to cast. Tonight, I've come to help you cast divine influence. That influence that hits men, they don't know why they like you. They don't, the, the most terrible people are not in control of their life. If a demon is influencing them, good news, we have more angels than the demons. They can slap their head to shape. I can tell you that over and over and over again. I can make people lined up with God's will. My wife is a typical example. <laughs> My wife said she will never marry a pastor. She looked at me when she was, you know, women can smell you from afar. As she began to smell me, she put a caveat, meaning, don't go further. I will never marry a pastor. I said, no problem. No problem. Then she told stories about the, their pastor. They used to pay their pastor 3,000. So in my face, she just saw 3,000 plastered. 3,000 monthly. <laughs> oh, no problem. I wasn't going to force it until I was praying. God told me, that's your wife. That's your wife. And told me some things about her. Oh, so I took her name. Put it in my mouth. From morning to night. Talking in tongues. Night and day. When I rested in peace, her seven and friend walked in. <sighs> if you're a right player and then they pass the ball to your right leg. I don't understand. I said, I have something to tell you. I became very poetic. When I finished, I said, will you marry me? She said, yes, yes, yes. But listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. She was God's will for me. She is God's will for me. But under certain kind of influence, experiences, she was going to run away from God's will. If we don't know how to cast the right influence, and I say, well, I tried. Well, I tried. Well, I tried and it didn't work. The people you have to deal with, they are not in control of their life. They might be barking like dog. They are not in control. And listen to me. You are the authorized one. 
Listen to me. God has given us authority in heaven and earth. One of them is that in my name you cast out devils. And once you cast out devils, you bring the right influence upon them. Those who are on you will pay you. They've said they will not pay. They, don't, they won't know when they paid. They won't know when they paid. They won't know when they paid. It's casting the right influence upon them. This said my wife bidded for a job that I've, I've told the story here before. It's, it was a drama. They just called. She's into um, um, consulting. Human resource and order. So they, they wanted a human resource outfit to come and bid for the job for the state. The new parastata, I mean, run the entire, you know, revamp the entire place. They had one big HR firm here from Lagos. If I called them, very big. The ones that the, my wife respects. That's the one the governor wanted to take this thing. So, but they just invited other companies for due process. But they've agreed with this person that that's what they would do. But while they were there, something locked up in my wife. She began to go through, pray, I think about three nights. Then she traveled there and the prayer. In fact, when she traveled, she called me and told me that I've not been able to rest. I said, if you, if you don't rest, don't go there. Just send them a text that you can't come today. You come tomorrow. Grudgingly, they agreed. She spent overnight praying by early hours of the morning. See why they were praying. They saw a vision. An angel came into the room. The place was filled with smoke, incense. The power of God broke upon them. They began to laugh. So she went to make her presentation. When she finished, when she finished, everybody kept quiet. And then one stood up and said, If we don't give this job to this woman, we will do this state a disservice. And we, you know, everybody just talking. The MD who was in league with the governor was just laughing. We're just laughing. And they drafted a contract agreement and gave my wife to sign. And they did some things they don't normally do in government contract. They put a clause. A clause they wrote. If they abruptly break this, they are going to pay her this. And if she abruptly breaks this, she's going to pay them this if money has been paid for her. Do you understand? Know it's not done. But they wrote it. And the money that they will pay was plenty. Then the company heard that they've given it to her and called the governor. The governor was mad. Called the MD. Why will you make me look bad with the former? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the guy kept apologizing. I will reverse it. The guy, the MD was the one telling me. He said, I will reverse it. I will reverse it. Sorry, I'm so sorry, sir. It's an oversight. It's better than oversight. That's how the governor was backing. So before I dropped, he said, just, we're going to pay the woman so and so amount of money because that's, the guy screamed. We're trying to preserve money. You want us to lose money. What, what kind of nonsense? What nonsense is this? Post a little and say, okay, leave the woman. Let her just do it. I'll look for something for my people. That I will look for something for my people. You think it's normal? You think all those behaviors are normal? The way of the man who works is not in himself. I don't know if you understand. If you learn this, you can take advantage. You can take advantage. They say, I, don't, I know what I'm doing. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know. Except the ones who are completely yielded to the Holy Spirit. They don't know what they are doing. They don't. Some of you here, if you are from a polygamous home, one day your father woke up and got angry. Say, he wants to marry another wife. I want to marry another wife. And you think, he, instead of you guys to do something, you are all angry. Anger will not solve it. The demon will win. That's when to step aside and say, you devil in this man. Two demons. Because they will always regret it. Yes. Polygamy means factory fitted problem. You know, inbuilt problem. There's, there's no way you can solve a polygamy but live with the trouble. It's inbuilt. Then a man just woke up and said, no, I know what I'm doing. I need another wife. <laughs> somebody, somebody said, hey, I know what I'm doing. I need another trouble. And you think he knows what he's doing? See, precedences are bounding. And yet to see a polygamous home that came out, everything smooth. Except they are pretending they are we're, 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 we're a close-knit family. That lie. It's, there's internal rivalry. That woman wants her son to be the brightest. The other one wants her son to be brightest. That already is a problem. You see a father just get up and says, I, I, I'm, there's one I'm dealing with. This man has been married for 41 years. Sent a letter last week that he wants to divorce the wife. Is he normal? 41 years. 
Just live and die now. 41 years. You've been married for 41 years. You just woke up. Why did you do a lot earlier? 41 plus. I mean, he, I don't know how old he was when he got married. But I'm sure the guy should either be in his 70s or close to his 70s. And you want to marry another wife. <laughs> Create a problem you leave for the children. When you are gone. Yeah, but why you, why you speak like this? Know that this man has been taken over. He's not in himself. He's not the one. So let compassion well in your heart and help him. Help break those influence. Command those influence broken. Let him come under the right influence. Let his eyes be open. Let him see that what he's doing, the consequence is far reaching. It's transgenerational. Those polygamous issues. They outlive the man. Long after he has gone, children are still struggling, poisoning themselves, envying themselves, doing all kinds of stuff. Everybody will tell you the stone side of the story. Everybody's story is good from their perspective. Are you following? Everybody suspects every other wife as witch. No, witch. Witch, witch. Listen to me. Get this. Today, we're going to pray for divine influence upon the people that you have to deal with. Are you following? When it comes upon people, their heart opens to you. What I'm telling you, I've enjoyed it a lot. I've seen men's hearts. One, this day, I was telling my wife, there's somebody whose his heart is so open to us that this can only be God. This can only be God. It will make them think the way they need to think concerning you. Are you following? It will make them think the way they need to think concerning you. Listen to me. As we pray today, some persons will leave America because of you. You, you don't understand. So six months we were praying. Six months we were praying. After praying for six months, one guy left USA and came and said he wants to just come and rest in Nigeria from US. You don't even understand. You leave America, you want to rest in Nigeria. I would have expected that if you went to the village, he wanted to just feel the. He came to rest in Transcorp. I don't even understand. And while he was in Abuja, met this girl and they are getting married next month. What do you think happened? As he was there sleeping, something was slapping. He wake up, wake up. He was seeing himself sleeping in, in Transcorp in Abuja. That's all he saw. But somebody had already orchestrated stuff to bring him to that place. I don't know if you understand. That means that man was not in control of his life. I have another. That one is from the UK. When I saw them, I asked them, no, you, you know her. Just came and told me, this is my husband to be. Uh -uh. And the husband says, I'm your fan. I've been following you. Since I met her, she just told me I must be listening to you. As requisite to be married to you. Are you following? <laughs> so, while she was praying, this guy left the United, uh, um, U U United Kingdom, came to Nigeria and stayed some time in Abuja, and they met somewhere, and then now they're getting married. I don't know if you know, It means companies will leave a location to, your, to where you are. are they, hello, are you there? So, in closing, on... On, on last week, there's a girl. This girl, the first place I met her was in, in Sap and what, Sapele. Was in Sapele. So when I was coming back to Abuja, she was going to coming to Lagos. She's just in Lagos. So we met. So she had long trouble. Marriage was top of it. She's in her late thirties, almost forties. She's concerned because all that. All kinds of disappointment, marriage, and all that. So I'll never forget. When we started coming, I told her to come for prayer. She'll come. So one of those days, she wrote me some episodes that were negative, crying, all those. I won't respond. The second one, I was praying for her in June. Then I called her and said, Where are you? Say she's in, incidentally, she went to the UK. So she'll not be around. So the next month, she came and met me. So I told her, You can change all this story. So I put on assignment 40 days, talking in tongues, three hours every day. Malekotaba. She was sharing the testimony last week, so that's that's very interesting. Do you know what happened? Where she lives, the next house that's within the same compound, the landlady of the place became angry with the person, insisted the woman must leave the place. Back, 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 back. That's how they drove the woman away and put the place vacant. One guy now moved in there. So she was looking at her meter to see when the guy looked from outside. 
and saw her. And something entered her. Greeted her. She accepted the greeting. As she went to her rooms, he heard a knock on the door. And came, spoke to her. Before you know it, sir, he said, I don't want to waste time. I want to marry you. They were in prayers together. I want to marry you. Right now, the family who were saying she was lean, they are telling them to slow down because they are too fast. They wanted to get married this month, but they are moving it to <laughs> two days. Because they are too fast. What happened? Let me tell you what happened. As she was praying, a landlady decided, I must sack somebody. That desire is in normal. And then as they drove the woman, a hey, man that was necessary. So they can push him. Go and look for that house there. You know, people have asked, in this your house. Will husband come and meet you? They can come and meet you. So they sacked a woman. Are you following? Because somebody who is there to the heart of God. And God says, I will give a nation for you. Is looking to the eyes of God. That action by the landlady is not, she was not in control. Something was, a divine influence was controlling her. That action by the landlady, she was not in control. I've seen that happen over and over again. She was not in control. Then, the action by the guy to come and live in that place is <laughs> not normal. I mean, the guy was supposed to go to work on Thursday because at that last, our last prayer cruise, he told the guy, you have to come to this prayer. Because this thing started in this prayer. Even the next day, she had to come. They all came again. And when he met me, he told me to tell her to help speed the process. He wants to marry. What is upon him? This is what she has been crying since. You can cast those divine influence. Are you listening to me? People who need your product, they will come to you. People who need to buy what you're selling, they won't know when they buy it. Some who don't even need it to buy it and keep it for later. It's divine influence. People who are working, they are not, they are not in control of themselves. So let's take the advantage. They need to, for you to get. Let's take the advantage. Let's take the advantage. Don't let the negative influence influence people who have to deal with you. So I remember a, a, a guy. A guy came into an interview panel. And he was wearing a red socks. The red socks. One of the guys on the panel is John like red and red red socks. The moment sorry, just you're not getting the job. You've not even heard him. Red socks. That guy did not pray. I don't know if you understand. He did not pray. Red socks disqualified. They didn't even hear him again. They didn't hear, they just disqualified him for red socks. He's a sick influence. You can't judge a man by his socks. Finally, just tell him, don't wear red socks again. As you're coming here, is that not it? Yes, Just very simple. You can remodel, you can change the way they dress. But the rest of us. So one of our August missed promotion last year. He got, he got me, he got me bothered. Because in that panel, he was the best. The people on the board, the chairman of the board called him and said, Excellent delivery. After excellent delivery, they didn't give it to him. I know why. You know, he's a Christian. And the things going around this country to move into a major general as does um, well, a vice marshal would not be good for them. So, but when this time came and he sent to me, sent me a message that they're preparing to go and meet the board. Part of what I was praying for him is divine influence. I don't know what they have planned with the north and the south. He's a Yoruba boy and then he's a Yoruba Christian. I don't know if you understand. Uh, because at that point he's no longer because he's exceptionally intelligent he has never come second in any of his course every place they put him I mean he turned a force regiment around turned it around so you don't expect that, that guy can go and interview and interview. but that's not why it works so. that's not why it works demons are sitting on people's shoulder yes, sir. we began to cast it I began to pray casting divine influence those guys, they wouldn't know when they gave it to him. And that's what happened, sir. The last week, the promotion came. All of them, even your Gabi. Eh, all of them. They are all major generals now. Four of them. It's divine influence. It's divine influence. 
Because clear eyes, they will not make them. I know. What is happening in this country? They don't even want to send. They don't want to know whether um, it is right or wrong. They've decided who should be there. But you see, today, I bring this divine influence upon your life. Listen to me. I know what God sent me to do today. The hand of the Lord is coming upon everyone and everything you have to deal with. And it's influencing circumstances and situations, men and women, to your advantage. You, you, know, you know when he told him, I will send a blast before you. And I will cause them to hear a rumor that will give you the advantage. I pray for you today. By the authority in the name of Jesus. And by this anointing, let the divine influence go ahead of you. Let men and women be influenced to your advantage. Let circumstances be influenced to your advantage. Receive marvelous help. Hey, everywhere they are struggling to decide for you right now. I command the struggle to end. Let the struggles end. In the name of Jesus. Let men like willing captive come. Let their hearts be open to you. This divine influence is what brings people to us. They don't know why they will come, but they will come. That's how this house is filled. Weekdays, you have spaces outside, and people are sitting because they don't know why they are coming, but they are coming. It's a divine influence. When you mentally begin to calculate this, why this, why this, why you miss it. There's something that comes upon people. Smokers will come and sit down. Drunkards will come and sit down. It's a divine influence. How did I come? I just, I just like that place. The life of a man is not in himself. He's not in a man that walks to direct his path. Stop waiting for them to be influenced by any other force. Dictate what forces influence them to your advantage. Let the house of men be open to you. I say let the house of men be open to you. I command the house of men open to you. I command the house of men open to you. Lera pata shakaba. Melebra katalebro koso potoliba. Melebra toli bakato shekole predi bayata. Lebra kata jola brakato toko peliata. I command the divine influence of God in this house. In the name of Jesus. Meko prato shakata yatos. He paranto ni karusha patete. Let the divine influence of God rest upon this house. In the name of Jesus. Oh, paradoxe preliba katayata. Let me tell you, every job you need, take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Let the hand of the Lord come upon everyone involved. In the name of Jesus. Let their head be put into shape. In the name of Jesus. Let the divine influence come. Those of you who are pursuing your purpose, receive your purpose. In the name of Jesus. Le parus kapalesh kalabons. Jele prekanus kapate. Li kapatos katebos. Hele prekatus apates. Hikarata bayos apale. Let the angels go forth right now. Let them be released on your behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just sit very quickly as a round up. Sit down very quickly. Listen to me. Life is powered by spiritual energy. You generate them and control them. If you leave it at the if you leave it, oh, things will go the way you don't want it to go. Life is energy powered. Are you following? You zero in on people, you cast the right influence upon them. You zero in on territory, you cast the right influence upon them. The hearts of men are open supernaturally. People are, you know, like I said, that scripture says, it's not in a man who lives to direct his path. Everybody is seen is under one influence, either the good influence or bad influence. Good influence or bad influence. That's why we've been praying for the nation. One of the prayers I pray consistently for the nation is that the covering cast be broken. The veil over the people will be broken. I have seen people argue in the argument, you know, this, you must be stupid. But they are maintaining the stupid position. A covering cast. The person vine has cast it. It casts a spell upon them. Otherwise, why are you arguing the way you are arguing? But they are not, they, they are not in themselves. That, that's why I call it the covering cast. A veil over the people. But do you blame the people? No, they are doing what I'm telling you to do. Are you following? If you are waiting for everybody to walk, they, will, they may not come to you. Forces will influence them contrary. Hey, but the Bible says we have come to an innumerable company of angels. These angels, they are not just here so I can sing about them. They are here to slap people's head. They are here. 
They are here to influence the circumstances of the situation to your advantage. They are here. These angels are here so that everything will line up to your advantage. Let the angels go forth on your behalf right now. Let them influence circumstances and situations to your advantage in the name of Jesus. I've been, I've been studying this maybe some other time. But you know, I've seen that this is actually how the unbelievers take advantage. 2015, I kept coming into this town to, to, to God told me to take prayer all around. Because what was coming was not good if we don't pray. Pastors were arguing with me. Pastors. I could read through them and see that this pastor is under his spell. He has made his belly his God. So he is able to be brought under. He can't see what I was seeing. I was seeing, I said, can't you see what is coming? Can't you see what is coming? He said, no, 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 no. Change it, change it, change it. They will change you. Maybe in this part, of con this part of the country, we won't know what is going on in this country. Deaths unnumbered, unaccounted for. People are dying on a daily basis. That's what you voted for? When I mean dying, I'm a pastor, so I get calls. There's one time, what, they, they have what outreach post in Southern Kaduna. They ransacked. The way the pastor escaped, losing two of his children. They will sweep and the whole place. No, no, no news carries it. You don't know the news. But before this thing came, God was staring at hearts. I was going everywhere. I was crying around. I went to Sokoto. I went to Kano. And I went to, uh, what do you call it? Kaduna. I went to Medugri. I went to Yola. I went to Joss. I went to, I was trying to raise body of believers to pray. Nobody was listening to me. Nobody was listening to me. Let's pray that the counsel of God prevail. Otherwise, what is coming? But one day as I was praying in Kaduna, God says, my son, you have done well. I will protect you in this guess what the regime is my most prosperous regime i've prospered i'm telling you I've prospered i've seen more money than i've ever seen in a short time i've seen kindness that left to me i'll say they should continue i don't know if you know something yes. but it's not it's just god protecting me in it show him show me his kindness for I'll, i mean pastors who sit me down and be arguing i say stop arguing follow your heart i lose peace I can't find peace in this matter. Well, guess what? After everything, everybody said, Pastor, you told us so. Covering cast. Covering cast. Covering cast. Pastor, you said this thing. Covering cast. And when you're saying this now, it's too late. People's lives are dying every day. There are some roads, if you go, if you pass the road, surely. Surely. <laughs> it's not maybe. They will surely. It's just if I said they see your car that you're looking like a poor man, they can let you pass. We look seriously at all. Is that not how these people, when they were doing PDP, this thing in Medugri, they send their cars by road. <laughs> they fired it. Fired it because they wanted to come and ride in before. They fired it. It's what to expect every time. Surely before that. I remember going to Mubi. Mubi in Sa. You know how they even did? They entered this town. When they entered the movie, they were when they entered the banks, eh? They were not trying to steal the money. They they uprooted the vault. Yes, in movie, they, that's how they took it to the Cameroon border. Are you following? And it's not reported. I don't know if you know something. But that is not my problem. The problem is that people who should have known were under a spell, under a covering curse. It is not in the man that walks to direct his paths. The way of a man is not in himself. So that's what I taught you earlier. First, you expose yourself to things that will never bring you under it. No enchantment against you. No divination. You shouldn't be brought under those spell. Where you're thinking outside God's will because your thought is right. Are you following what I'm saying? And then all that also, that is on your own part. For you, gain the advantage. Cast this covering now your own is good because they are brought under like marry my wife is good amen she knows i'm a good man she has told me plenty you are a kind man in fact as we're coming today she kissed me you have made me famous i, I don't know if that, but that's <laughs> that's the man that she swore that she said, i swear i will never marry are you following i will never marry she swore she swore 
I should never marry. <laughs> she said three years. When I bought her Alaska, her mother came and told me. Permit me to kneel down. I said, Mommy, no. He said, No, let me tell you something. People thought, told me you are a, never to marry a woman. But God has vindicated me. You are the best man we have had in all our families. Hey! hey. Sukubaya. <laughs> but, but, but guess what I'm saying? This same man, I was told for two years I can't see their face. I told my wife, All I need is, Are you on my side? Leave that one now. We will cast the influence. Who we'll cast it? Who we'll cast it? And God gave me wisdom one time. <laughs> Biodun, Biodun made me preach for him in the Lord in there. Biodun gave me three envelopes there. Eh? Each of them was very pregnant. One is um, prophet's offering. One is honorarium. I forgot what they call the third one. Ha! I've never seen money like that in my life as a preacher. The money was... In, I'm, in fact, he didn't want to put it together. So he named it different name. I landed at Buja. Makeru, as I was praying, I heard thoughts says the Lord. She has a mother, a stepmother that is not living in the house, but is in very close touch with the father. I filled my boots eh, with the things that accompany salvation. I don't know if I bought bags of rice. I bought the, the, the car was down. I drove to her house. All I did was call people. They were just offloading into the house. Offloading. I didn't make any statement. Offloading. They were saying, if fair, if fair, what is happening? They were just offloading, offloading, offloading. When they finished offloading, I said, I just came to greet you. Now I said, that's, this is the person I want to marry. He said, my son, go and sleep. <laughs> go and sleep. <laughs> we just go and sleep. <laughs> oh, by the next week, uh, I got visa. <laughs> And the rest is history but this is where i'm going if i had followed that original idea that i cannot marry a pastor if i didn't cast out that pastor that spoiled our name in that anglican church <laughs> from her memory it's, 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 the pastor they were giving three thousand then family church member once in a while they'll bring one tuba of you and pastor oh, <laughs> I, I, I could see what the, the, that's the way they condemn me that I'll be carrying, collecting yam from, <laughs> collecting yam from church members. Oh, <laughs> but if I didn't cast my own, that's where I'm going. If I didn't cast my own, maybe married to somebody who might be fighting now. You know, I won't fight because I'll just face God. I'll be lost in God. <laughs> I'll be praying to for hour. Lelele barabosi palala mana mana Oh, and that's where some of you have lost God's precious, precious will for you. You just said, "Let the will of God. no, the will of the Lord is established." What does what, what does God? Say? God wants you. He said, "True, shall the families of the earth be blessed." He wants you to make so much money. This church should cry. You know, there's one guy I brought to sing for me, um, Prince Emmanuel. Prince, Prince was in my anniversary. So Prince, Prince has a line that I, I couldn't, I, I busted a laughing. He said, when you bring seed and tie to pastor, pastor will say, stand on, let me kneel down, I pray for you. <laughs> I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Did you get the joke? He, he said, you stand up, let me, let me kneel down <laughs> and pray for you. Because what, uh, uh, what you, <laughs> what you brought you have become more than a Barnabas. It's God's way. I don't have to think about that. I don't have to think, is that God's way? It's God's way. It's established. Then I need to get that money and do the things for the kingdom like I need to do. And then Satan is fighting me. It's a lie. It's God's way. Are you following? It's God's way. You fight for it. You cast the right influence. One of our, our dear friend, mutual friend, in the military, he was under trial for two years. They were trying him. They were trying to reduce him to nothing. Oh. Hey. You contend. Contend. Do you know the people that finally exonerated him? 
when this government came, when Buratai came, they came and told Buratai that this guy is a Christian fanatic who edges Muslims out, caught them out. Are you following? Guess when the panel was set, they brought four of those Muslim guys who had worked under him to testify against him. They have put the word in their mouth to come and testify. As the panel, they were sitting. The panel was there. When the first one stepped up, he wanted to talk. He broke down. He said, well, lie. If I say this man is not the best thing that has happened to me, I am a fool. <laughs> he said, well, Allah will not forgive me. The second guy came and repeated the third one. By the third one, they refused to bring the fourth person. <laughs> what do you think happened? They planned them. They've arranged them what to talk. When you get there, you can't talk it. You can't talk it. Your mouth will be heavy. Change the story. And that's what they needed. No evidence. And all these guys are core Muslims who had worked with him. <laughs> it is not the man who works to direct this part it's not cast those influence cast those influence cast those influence cast those influence since i already know that that guy walking shouting shouting it's not a shout oh. that shout is not shout he's just shouting some things are making him shout if i take those things and put my own he'll begin to laugh cast the right influence after, that's how people lose marriage. I, 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 told, I tell this story as I close now. Myself and my wife, sir, we were traveling for a wedding in Makodi. So we left very late because we had a program Friday night. So it was after the program we took off from um, Abuja to go. It's about four hours drive because of the road and it's not a very good road. So but when I got like um, an hour away, that's um, Kefi, I lost my peace about the trip. This was about 9 p.m. So I decided to just check in into one of the hotels. We look hotels then we saw one i'll never forget as i walked into the hotel i knew this this is not the right place i even told my wife this hotel is devoid of the glory of god what i wanted to say is that this place is costal do you understand but i, I, just, I was just being positive about my utterances this is devoid of the blessing so that's how we bought some fries we just bought fries on the road because it was late me and her were just rough. We can rugged ourselves. So we're eating. Then I, I was too tired. I slept off. Then as I slept, she didn't sleep on that. She went to um, bath and then come to sleep. When she tapped me, tapped me, I woke up. She said she saw something. I said, "What do you see?" She saw a woman walk through the wall. Come sit where she were, were eating. I was eating what we were eating and looking at two of us. I said, "We." You know, I didn't take her serious. I said, guy, you see, that's what I said, the word Nollywood. It, it can affect your spiritual intelligence. <laughs> because the story, it's the only thing you watch in Nollywood. The person came out, and then as she rebuked the person, the person still went through the wall and left. So, uh, it's not me to take this thing seriously. I just laughed over it. I laughed on the road. I'll just be yelling her. Hey! <laughs> so, went as we're coming back I said, before, just before we enter the city that same city one little argument between me and my wife Marco Rosaba. this argument if the way we were shouting eh, if you put fire in that car it will explode i was speaking engineering english she was speaking human resource english we we're just you know you are, yeah, yeah. i was hitting the steering she was hitting the dashboard hey, yeah, we're, we're, we're. madness well, that has never happened to us all our life. Madness! I was. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's why I was panting in that car driving. All the time, like I should just open this car, fling her out of the car. Somewhere. I remember no strife. So I'm just telling myself inside no strife here, no strife here. No strife here. No strife. No strife. Can't work with strife. So I just told her, excuse me. So I parked. I said, let me ease myself. I went into the bush to do what's needful. I said, you devil in my wife harassing my life. You stop now. You've lost it. What God put together, no devil 
I rebuke you. Jesus, sports, principalities, and power. Made a public spectacle of you. You have no place here. I mean, it's from zero to hundred. That's how the question. I mean, from nothing to everything. So when I came, everywhere was calm. I apologized. She apologized. I said, okay, I'm apologizing. That's how I made up. So now I told her, do you know what I went to do? Say what? I told her I went to cast. I said, when you went also, I was happy because I took the opportunity to say, you devil, in that man inside that bush, <laughs> harassing my life, desist in your oppression. Sir, what was meant for destruction? We began to yab ourselves. We laughed. We laughed. You know, our yab, our drama. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand. Till God. And ironically, guess what? We're driving into town to minister in a couple's meeting. I was supposed to speak to the men. She's supposed to speak to the women. And guess what was happening? So that when we come there, we do not have the authority. I don't even understand. You cast the right influence. And when you sense those negative influence, don't say, what is this? It is not your thoughts are right. When you have things emanating from wrong thoughts, you deal with it. You deal with it. You rebuke it. You rebuke it. Your thoughts are right. I don't understand. And expose yourself to what makes for right thoughts. Because that's what we steer the influence. If you think wrongly, you'll be influenced by wrong spirits. If you think right, the right spirits will accommodate you. And once they accommodate you, then you are free from all those negative influence. You'll be wondering why people are under this spell that you're not. Because of the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and your thoughts, they are right. They are right continually. And you're yielding to it. But more than that, what I'm saying is that there are people who have your money with the wrong influence. Cast those influence. Cast your own influence upon them. I don't even understand. Cast your own influence upon them. So, can I again? When Jesus visited him and told him how to pray for money, the first thing Jesus told him to do every time he's praying for money is to command Satan to take his hands off his money. Every time. It has worked for me. Every time I begin to come to this financial darkness, the first person I attack is Satan. Because there are people who want to give me money, but they're not thinking it. Yeah, hey, you must think it. You have to think it. You have to be restless with the thinking. You know if you will be restless. I don't understand. You might have it in your hand. You must bring it. There's no way. No, because in giving me, you'll be blessed. So that I know. Otherwise, you know, you know, you come to a season where people don't want to give you anything. They don't want to give you anything. They are not the ones who. Uh, stop complaining. Don't, don't, don't say this people are stingy. No, no. I won't even say you are not stingy. You're generous towards me. Your heart is open to me. I send the ministry spray. Slap your head to shape. Let the right influence come upon you. Let Satan's hold be broken. Let the right men rise on your behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive a prophetic push right now. Receive divine influence in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead, give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a response this month evening. Lord, can you just pray in the Holy Ghost wherever you are? 